coach, it's a game you lost to APR 1-0, but you played a very good game in the second half and uh, the end of uh, first half. How was the game at your side? Uh, first of all, uh, I don't have nothing much to say, but uh, we are trying to do what we are supposed to do. And I think we started it right from the first half. Unfortunately, we missed a couple of chances, which I really feel very so bad. Those would have been the turning point of the game. Those two goals missed by Yafis. The goalkeeper gave it one, to the end, then he got another one, the bad technique. But I think uh, the game was good. The game was good. The boys did what I really prepared them to do against the champion. It's not very easy to play against the champion away. And you bring out such a, a brand of football they have shown here in front of their fans. I think they did a very good game. They did very well. But that is football. We look forward to go to our next game. Um, analysis about your substitutions. After some minutes of uh, the first half, you uh, took out Mr. Haba Mahoro and other substitutions you did in a game. Yeah, because you see, when I, when I train something, I need you to do that. And if I see you are really not doing what I really, uh, the game plan is, I have to react very fast. And I reacted very fast and that changed the game because it was too slow. It was too slow, too slow. The modern game is now you have to play fast, you have to be, uh, you know, you have to press and he was not doing that. And these guys were trying to go in the first five to 10 minutes. So I knew if it can go like that, we can consider a very early goal. Very unfortunate that we considered a very poor goal. Poor marking, poor positioning of a goalkeeper. It was very bad, but that is the life of the game. Uh, but coach, you had to put those young boys in, uh, in the field, uh, making others coming out. Uh, why did you believe in them? No, but uh, I'm a professional football coach. A, a young player must play. When is he going to get experience? I want to try also to build the players in Rwanda here from, from, from Amavubi. These all the old players sometimes also, you know, you have seen Maris, you have seen this boy. Is uh, is it is it from from Inari? This left back, yeah, yeah left back. I I just saw him and then I said, you come, I put it. You have seen Eric, that young man. So we had about five young men. That shows that uh, I'm very happy with the team. I'm trying to build something new, in uh, to believe in every player that every player can play, so long as the tactical part is there. He understands what he's playing. The problem is to put a young man and he doesn't know what he's playing. So he will get lost. But I think it's very good to, to give chance to these players. I was a professional footballer. I started when I was young also. So I need to see these young boys go through also, also that. So that the future is there. This uh, Lukundo, this Eric, another, another one. This is a gold. This is gold for, for Rwanda. If this young man can play against APR, where they came from, why don't you see that? So this is gold for Rwandan football. And we need this. I'm also calling upon other coaches to see that. I've just been an under-20 national team coach in Uganda. I believed in those young men. So I know what it means to have a young man on the, on the, on the park. The tactical part. Tactics. Tactics. If you, if you must understand what is a tactic. I'm a tactical coach. So when I play APR, I play differently. When I play Musanze, I play differently. Uh, yeah, I play police is different. If you remember when police was, uh, we are leading us 1-0. I changed almost four players immediately. And the things started dropping in the goals. They were only just lucky that the time was very little. It was finished 15 minutes. Maybe they would consider even four. You know when you don't expect such a big team, you can be... We can concede more goals than that. But this is history now. We have to now to go forward. Mm -hmm. It's like you've been complaining all about referees. How is it? I think today, I'm not a referee, but today there was something there. <laughs> mm, there was something there in the second half. I don't want to talk about it, but there was something there. Well, that there was something. So me, there was something there. There was something. Now you go back, you have cameras, go back and review. The problem in East Africa, we don't have VAR. You saw Nigerian game. You know the Nigerian game against uh, South Africa. Osman scored the killer goal, but they went back to VAR and said it's a penalty against Nigeria. So if we can have this, 
I know the president of the Republic has done a lot for sports. And I really love to see this in this country because there are many pitches now the valleys are waiting so that football in Rwanda can become even more very, very what? Exciting. And we don't have such things again. But I think the referees handled the game very well. Yeah. Okay.